Hi guys, welcome to the new 3D quick tip video. Last time I showed you how to do simple math in the channel box, including a random translations. However, that doesn't work for everybody. So today I will show you one little tool in Maya which can do that and will work for everyone. So let's start. First of all, you will have to install Maya bonus tools. That's a package of free scripts by Autodesk. Just go to the Google, type in Maya bonus tools and click the first link you will get, which will link you to the Autodesk App Store. And here you just choose your OS and the download. Once downloaded, just install and restart Maya and the bonus tools will appear in your menu over here. With bonus tools installed, we can start randomizing our objects. Let's go to bonus tools, modify and randomize transforms. Once the script is loaded, our selection is stored inside of the script, so we don't need to have objects selected anymore. Inside of a randomizer, we have few tabs, objects, channels, components, and selection. All of these we can randomize with the script, and we will obviously talk about each one of them. But let's start with the translate. Let me put a value of 20 there. That means that our random number will be within the range of 20, that actually means from minus 10 to 10 and it will be added as a relative value to our current value. That means that this object had 25 in X and 5.251 was added to that. So that original value is just modulated by our random. Right now we have the randomization in every axis. That's what we don't want, let's say, that's why we have a multiplier in here, which is like a percentage of the influence. So that's X, Y and Z axis. If I want the randomization to happen just in a Z axis, I will just zero out these two and I have the randomization just happening in a Z axis from, as I said, minus 10. You can see that this one is like minus 8 point something to plus 10, like this one is 9.9. .9. If I don't like the way how the randomization happened, I can click the new seed and it will just input the different numbers within that range. So I can click that until I'm satisfied. If I want to add a translation random in a different axis, let's say Y, I can either dial in the percentage but what if I want not 20, but 50 range? I will have to calculate the percentage or whatever, whatever. Or I'm happy with the Z randomization. So what I can do is select objects again and reload the selection. It will reset the dialog and it will store the current values into the script. So that means that whatever happens right now will add on top of what we currently have right now. So if I put 50 there, and activate just the y-axis, I will get the result which I expected. If I click the reset button, that last randomization will be reset. The same randomization is happening with the rotation. Let's put the maximum there and just in the y-axis. The maximum range is 360, which means plus 180 degrees and minus 180 degrees. If you want more, you can either put two in the multiplier or you can just increase the range. And obviously same works with the scale. However, the scale is non-uniform. So you are getting a different number for each axis. If you turn on the uniform scale, you will get the same number in each axis. So that's for objects and their transforms. Next on the list are channels and these are empty. We have to load the channels first and for this demonstration I have these beautiful cylinders and each one of those cylinders has a bend deformer applied to it. To the channels randomizer you can add whatever channel is in the channel box and it's shared in between the selected objects which you want to randomize. So let's say right now I want to randomize the curvature inside of a bent deformer. 
So I will select curvature, reload the selection, and the curvature will appear in the randomizer. And I can just put number in there, let's say 90. And immediately you see that I have a different curvature amount in every one of these cylinders. So that's the first thing. Then we have an offset, which is basically what it says, just an offset. So for example, this cylinder has curvature of 50. If I put 50 offset in there, it's 104 instead of 54. So it's just offsetting values. And the step is pretty useful. That's actually rounding the value. Let's say I want it to be rounded to five. So it will be either zero or five. As I said before, I can load whatever channel in here. So let me select them again. And let's say I want rotate X, Y, and Z reload selection. And I have these parameters exposed to my randomizer, including the offset and step, which can actually help me because let's say I want the range to be like 25 and I'm getting the decimal numbers. If I don't want the decimal numbers, I'll put just step one in there and I'll have integer like whole numbers in there right now. So I can load whatever channel is shared in between the objects I want to randomize. That's channels. Let's go to components. Components are actually very simple. Let me load another object and they work just with vertices. So I will select all the vertices, reload the selection, and put number in range. Basically what it does, it puts a random translation to the vertex itself. Simple as that. Once again, I can modify the influence. So right now the vertices are moving just in the Y axis, or I can choose the along normal multiply axis will turn off and the vertices are moving just along their normals. That's basically it. I can use the denoise. It's just a different algorithm applied to our randomization. So that's for components. Very simple. Let me just reset that. And the last is selection, which is even more simple. We have just one slider. It means that we are now selecting hundreds of points. If I slide it down, we are selecting 70% of points. If I slide it down, we have 50% of points. If I don't like which 50% it chose, I can just click a new seat and I have different 50%. And this works with vertices and objects. So if I have like these gizmos here, select them, reload selection, I have 100% right now. If I slide the slider down, I'm at 55% and 10% of the objects from the previous stored selection. And that's it guys for today's video. It was real short demonstration of the randomizer inside of bonus tools. We will definitely take a look in other bonus tools in the future videos. If you like the video and you are not yet subscribed to the channel, please do so and stay tuned for new ones.